So I just pulled the old pollen out. That's the original OG pollen. I need to clean it up. I've got some big plans for it. Well, at least I got an idea. Something to do with cutting grass. So I just did the pressure washer to the pollen. It looks really good. The wheels are all shiny. Anyway, what I'm thinking is I've got two decks. This one has worn out blades. This one has no blades. And that one's in such good shape. That's all choice number seven. I should probably put it on Marketplace and see if anybody needs a deck. Anyway, I'm thinking about hanging one of them in the front here. This one has no idler pulleys. I could put an idler pulley on that one. And then the belt would shoot right to the middle, over the axle, under the exhaust, right to the deck pulley. It's still under there. I don't think it would be that hard to do. So if we do this, this is what it's looking like. The deck is still going to, have to be higher. Right now it's about nine inches high. It would probably be a foot high. I need that belt to be more level. Anyway, this bracket's gonna be in the way. It used to be on the Troy number seven, it would go to the front. You can see the wear pattern here. Now it's going towards the back, so that's in the way, but I need that bracket. What a pain. Maybe we should try that one. So the deck is up on ramps. I've got an almost four before in the back. There's a jack stand in the front. If we do this, we're at about probably 13 inches high when we're cutting. I don't know if that's worthwhile. It'd be for heavy brush, I guess. You could do a cut. Be nice if I had one to pull behind it. I could do a primary cut and then a finish cut. That'd be cool. Why don't you put a belly mower back underneath? I don't want to. So the so far progress on putting a mower deck on front of the OG pollen. I just added this idler pulley. I need another one on the other side. I believe this is going to have to go away. I've got these two arms off of a different mower deck. If I had two more, and this would be adjusting the height, you could put a turnbuckle there. Anyway, I believe it would work. I've got these pieces of scrap. i got to get a good drill bit so I can drill some holes in the bumper, drill some holes in these brackets. Shouldn't be that hard to do. And it's going to be like a rough cut. It'll probably be, I think I could cheat it down to about 8 inches high. And so the belt still don't rub. So I'm here with putting the mower deck on front of the OG Polin project. And what I'm doing right now, I've basically got it sitting on a tire. That way you can mow the field if somebody left the tire out there, you won't hit it. And it's not going to be a adjustable height. It's going to be a fixed height. This is going to be where the belt runs. I'm right now adding idler pulleys to make sure the belt don't rub back there on the mower. I found this little spacer. That's going to space up this idler pulley back here. And then my next step, I don't know about belt length. I don't know about blade engagement. Right now I'm just trying to get the deck in place. I think that nut's gonna but I think this bolt's gonna clear my belt. So I got the deck where I thought I wanted it, and on this side when I turn the wheel, it looks good. I believe it would clear. When we check the other side, and then here on the left hand side it clears, but if you turn this way, turn it all the way to the right, I believe that would hit. So I'm gonna move the deck forward about, I don't know, two or three more inches. So with a whole bunch of testing and changing and switching and turning the tires, I'm ready to drill the first hole. But I can't get this to the drill press, so we gotta make our own drill press. We've got this piece of flat iron. And it's gonna pry against the drill. Works really good. We're almost through, and I think the battery's about dead. Yeah. Okay, there is a charged battery on. I made it. Alright, I'm going to bolt that one in place and we'll work on the rest of them. That is one arm done. We'll probably do two more. Bracket number two has been welded together. I'd much rather weld than drill. If we go down here, I did have to drill one hole, but it was in the deck. That's easy drilling. We're going to do existing hole here. This hole that I just made. Existing hole, existing hole. Then that bracket goes on just like this. In the middle, I believe this is going to be my third bracket. Using the existing holes, there's a hole going through the deck, there's a hole going through this L bracket, there's a hole here, there's a hole in that one, 
there's a hole, so I've only got to drill one hole through the bumper, then we'll get that one bolted on. That'll be one, two, three. Bracket number two is on. Let's drill for bracket number three. So I just drilled this hole at three eighths and I gotta get rid of this bracket because it's gonna rub on my belt. I don't want any belt rubbing. So update time and I forgot to tell you the bill so far. The deck already had, the mower already had, the belt already had. I did pick up six dollars worth of nuts, bolts, and washers. That's a pound at Tractor Supply. Anyway, uh, update. I just got bracket number two on, bracket number three is on. They're both tight. Bracket number one has been on. I bent over this one that was gonna be in the way of the belt. It's now out of the way. And I believe three is enough if we give it a good shake. Feels good and sturdy. You could probably ride on the front of it. Anyway, I want to put a couple more brackets. I just find it fun. It's kind of like when you're a kid playing with Legos. This is, uh, I guess, man-sized Legos. And I've got all these scraps from all the old mowers. They make good brackets. Just put some gas in the tank. Let's turn the valve on. Might as well check the oil while you're at it. A little low. This is the choke. That was a first start in a long time. So I just put the belt back on. I'm gonna try to start it, see if we can get the blades to spin. I gotta build something to engage them. Something probably kinda like this. Anyway, for now, let's just turn it on and see what happens. And the blades are probably going to be out of balance. They look pretty cruddy. We're going to need some new blades. So just did this for a ride and I think the pulley swap mower might be too fast for the deck. The good news is it's way up off the ground. We need to find like maybe some briars, some really thick briars. Hit it in first gear. See how that does? That's the next step. Oh, I got a bolt I need to get rid of. That bolt is rubbing on this belt. I'm gonna take that bolt out, bend this little bracket over. We don't need that bracket. And I'm gonna go ahead and hardwire the mower. I'm gonna put the idler pulley in place so it is on at all times. To disengage the mower, you'll just turn the mower off. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking up on front of the mower, the deck, cut the deck out. That way when you come up to the bushes, the deck don't push them down out of the way. It introduces them right to the blades. I mean, it's already sketchy. Let's make it sketchier. Maybe, don't try this at home, kids. Something about maybe right here, anywhere in that general area should work fine. Let's go with exactly right there. My next step, I gotta cut the all thread off, bolt this together, and then start cutting on the deck. That should be tight enough to do some damage. So this blade looks like it's had a really rough life. When I put the pulley on, I spun the blade, the blade was hitting the bolt sticking down. It was just this side because it was bent up. So I took it out of the vise and tried to straighten a little bit, and then I noticed a whole bunch of it's missing. It was way out of balance. So then I took the grinder and I cut some weight off of this side. Then I sharpened this side, sharpened that side a little bit. And when we put on the screwdriver, it is fairly balanced now. I mean, this side's still longer, but it'll be better than it was. I had a blade. I think it would have worked. This is off of my Husqvarna Zero Turn. I think it's got that same six-sided star underneath that bolt, but this is for a 46-inch deck. This is 42-inch deck. So just my luck, things are just getting good and it's time to go get ready to go to work. I got a training to do today. That's okay. 
We're gonna test it when I get home. Anyway, let's hit the key and see if it starts. Might want a little gas. Yeah, as soon as we get home from testing, as soon as we get home from uh, training, we're gonna do some testing. I know just the spot. So the training took longer than scheduled and it's starting to rain. It's overcast. I think what I'll do now is postpone the test cut and get the grinder and open up this deck, get the blades exposed. And just for the record, you shouldn't use your grinder without the guard, but my guard's lost. So I got my gloves, my face shield, my ear protection. And looks like it stopped raining, so maybe we go do a test after all. So of course it's starting to rain again, but the show must go on. I'm going to take down a row of this corn, you know, for testing purposes. Don't worry, I've already picked all the corn off of it. And just for reference, I'm six foot tall. That corn is over eight foot tall. That'd be a good test for the mower. So the rain stopped just long enough to get the corn mowed, then for me to get wet. Anyway, the idler pulley could be a little bit tighter. We'll drill another hole about an inch in, go for another test. So just move the idler pulley in about three quarters of an inch. It is tighter. I think it's ready now for a test, except for the rain cannot make up its mind. I guess I'll postpone further testing until tomorrow. 
So you can see through the trees, the sun is almost down. It's not dark yet, and it's not raining. Let's give this mower thing one more chance. Working great, but I kind of need some face protection on from them briars. Not a war pants.
That's probably good enough for tonight. I'm going to let it cool down. You got to turn it pretty hard to get them briars cut. And then you're thinking, what if somebody says, hey man, bring OG Poland to the river, let's ride in the sand. You don't want to mow in the sand. I could rip this mower deck off in just a few seconds. I'm going to say five minutes or less. Let's start a timer. And, and where'd my timer go? No, not this. It was about a minute. 